A swabathon is, is, is a, it's a new term of art in the food industry. And what it means is a regulatory entity, and it's, and it's typically FDA that's doing these, not USDA, will arrive in your plant. It may be announced. It may be unannounced. It may be triggered because your food has been linked to an illness or an outbreak. It may be triggered just because your numbers come up and they not, they're not doing it for cause. Um, it may be triggered because the commodity you're making has been seen as a high-risk commodity. What the Swabathon is about is that FDA will arrive with a lot of swabs and sponges and they will be essentially swabbing your plant from top to bottom. It can take a day, it can take three days, it can take a week. Depending on the size of the plant, the complexity of the plant, they can do, they typically will do at least 100 swabs. They may, I've seen them do as many as 300. They will take all these swabs <clears throat> and then they will analyze them for either listeria or salmonella or both. And if they find a positive to either of those, they, they will then genetically type that listeria monocytogenes or that salmon, salmonella strain using the latest genetic tool, whole genome sequencing. And they will then enter that genetic data from the whole genome sequencing into their national database called GeneTrack. Once it's in there, they will say, have we seen this strain before? And they may then link it back to worst case scenario is they do a swabathon in your plant and they link it back to an ongoing outbreak of salmonella or listeria and they've been looking for the cause. They've been looking for the food or the plant and bingo, they've, they've nailed you. Um, and that, that will almost inevitably lead to some, some sort of a recall. If they don't link it to anything, it doesn't go away. The results just sit in the database for the future. And if down the road, one year, two years, five years, ten years, there's an outbreak or illness that matches the uh, bacterial type that was in your plant, they'll likely be back. And the key message is, and it's, it sounds simple, but it's not, it's not always simple to execute, is to build as good an environmental control program as you can. And by that I mean it's, that's about keeping the bugs out of the places that really matter.